In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. O book which we have revealed unto thee, in order that thou mightest lead mankind out of the depths of darkness into light, by the leave of their Lord, to the way of him the exalted in power, worthy of all praise. Of Allah, to whom do belong all things in the heavens and on earth, but alas for the unbelievers, for a terrible chastisement their unfaith will bring them. Those who prefer the life of this world to the hereafter, who hinder men from the path of Allah and seek to make it something crooked, they are astray by a long distance. We sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people, in order to make things clear to them. So Allah leads astray those whom he pleases, and guides whom he pleases. And he is exalted in power, full of wisdom. We sent Moses with our signs and the command, Bring out thy people from the depths of darkness into light, and remind them of the days of Allah. Verily, in this there are signs for such as are firmly patient and constant, grateful and appreciative. Remember, Moses said to his people, Call to mind the favour of Allah to you when he delivered you from the people of Pharaoh. They set you hard tasks and punishments, slaughtered your sons, and let your women folk live. Therein was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And remember, your Lord caused to be declared publicly, If ye are grateful, I will add more favours unto you. But if ye show ingratitude, truly my punishment is terrible indeed. And Moses said, If ye show ingratitude, ye and all on earth together, yet is Allah free of all wants, Worthy of all praise. Has not the story reached you, O people, of those who went before you, of the people of Noah, and Ad, and Thamud, and of those who came after them? None knows them but Allah. To them came messengers with clear signs, but they put their hands up to their mouths and said, We do deny the mission on which ye have been sent, and we are really in suspicious, disquieting doubt as to that to which ye invite us. Their messengers said, Is there a doubt about Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth? It is he who invites you, in order that he may forgive you your sins and give you respite for a term appointed. 
they said, Ah, ye are no more than human, like ourselves. Ye wish to turn us away from what our fathers used to worship. Then bring us some clear authority. Their messengers said to them, True, we are human like yourselves, but Allah doth grant his grace to such of his servants as he pleases. It is not for us to bring you an authority except as Allah permits, and on Allah let all men of faith put their trust. why we should not put our trust on Allah. Indeed, he has guided us to the ways we follow. We shall certainly bear with patience all the hurts you may cause us. For those who put their trust should put their trust on Allah. And the unbelievers said to their messengers, be sure we shall drive you out of our land, or ye shall return to our religion. But their Lord inspired this message to them. Verily, we shall cause the wrongdoers to perish. And verily, we shall cause you to abide in the land and succeed them. This for such as fear the time when they shall stand before my tribunal, such as fear the punishment. But they sought victory and decision there and then, and frustration was the lot of every powerful obstinate transgressor. In front of such a one is hell, and he is given for drink boiling, fetid water. In gulps will he sip it, but never will he be near swallowing it down his throat. Death will come to him from every quarter, yet will he not die, and in front of him will be a chastisement unrelenting. The parable of those who reject their Lord is that their works are as ashes on which the wind blows furiously on a tempestuous day. No power have they over aught that they have earned. That is the strain far, far from the goal. Seest thou not that Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth? If he so will, he can remove you and put in your place a new creation. Nor is that for Allah any great matter. They will all be marshalled before Allah together. Then will the weak say to those who were arrogant, For us, we but followed you. Can ye then avail us to all against the wrath of Allah? They will reply, If we had received the guidance of Allah, we should have given it to you. To us it makes no difference now whether we rage or bear these torments with patience. For ourselves, there is no way of escape.
and Satan will say when the matter is decided, It was Allah who gave you a promise of truth. I too promised, but I failed in my promise to you. I had no authority over you except to call you, but ye listened to me. Then reproach not me, but reproach your own souls. I cannot listen to your cries, nor can ye listen to mine. I reject your former act in associating me with Allah. For wrongdoers there must be a grievous chastisement. But those who believe and work righteousness will be admitted to gardens beneath which rivers flow, to dwell therein for a with the leave of their Lord. Their greeting therein will be peace. Seest thou not how Allah sets forth a parable? A goodly word like a goodly tree, whose root is firmly fixed, and its branches reach to the heavens. It brings forth its fruit at all times, by the leave of its Lord. So Allah sets forth parables for men, in order that they may receive admonition. And the parable of an evil word is that of an evil tree. It is torn up by the root from the surface of the earth. It has no stability. Allah will establish in strength those who believe, with the word that stands firm, in this world and in the hereafter. But Allah will leave to stray those who do wrong. Allah doeth what he willeth. Hast thou not turned thy thoughts to those who have changed the favour of Allah with ingratitude, and caused their people to descend to the house of perdition? Into hell? They will burn therein, an evil place to stay in. And they set up idols as equal to Allah, to mislead men from his path. Say, enjoy your brief power, but verily ye are making straight way for hell. Speak to my servants who have believed, that they may establish regular prayers, and spend in charity out of the sustenance we have given them, secretly and openly, before the coming of a day in which there will be neither mutual bargaining nor befriending. It is Allah who hath created the heavens and the earth, and sendeth down rain from the skies, and with it bringeth out fruits wherewith to feed you. It is he who hath made the ships subject to you, that they may sail through the sea by his command, and the rivers also hath he made subject to you.
and he hath made subject to you the sun and the moon, both diligently pursuing their courses. And the night and the day hath he also made subject to you. And he giveth you all that ye ask for. But if ye count the favours of Allah, never will ye be able to number them. Verily, man is given up to injustice and ingratitude. Remember, Abraham said, O my Lord, make this city one of peace and security, and preserve me and my sons from worshipping idols. O oh my Lord, they have indeed led astray many among mankind. He then who follows my ways is of me, and he that disobeys me. But thou art indeed oft forgiving, most merciful. O oh our Lord, I have made some of my offspring to dwell in a valley without cultivation, by their sacred house, in order, O our Lord, that they may establish regular prayer. So fill the hearts of some among men with love towards them, and feed them with fruits, so that they may give thanks. O our Lord, truly thou dost know what we conceal and what we reveal. For nothing whatever is hidden from Allah, whether on earth or in heaven. Praise be to Allah, who hath granted unto me in old age Ishmael and Isaac, for truly, my Lord, is he the hearer of prayer. O oh, my Lord, make me one who establishes regular prayer, and also raise such among my offspring. O oh, our Lord, and accept thou my prayer. O oh, our Lord, Cover us with thy forgiveness, me, my parents, and all believers, on the day that the reckoning will be established. Think not that Allah doth not heed the deeds of those who do wrong. He but giveth them respite against a day when the eyes will fixedly stare in horror. they running forward with necks outstretched, their heads uplifted, their gaze returning not towards them, and their hearts a gaping void. So warn mankind of the day when wrath will reach them. Then will the wrongdoers say, Our Lord, respite us if only for a short term. We will answer thy call, and follow the messenger. What? Were ye not wont to swear aforetime that ye should suffer no decline? And ye dwelt in the dwellings of men who wronged themselves. Ye were clearly shown how we dealt with them, 
and we put forth many parables in your behoof. Many indeed were the plots which they made, but their plots were well within the sight of Allah, even though they were such as to shake the hills. Never think that Allah would fail his messengers in his promise, for Allah is exalted in power, the Lord of retribution. One day the earth will be changed to a different earth, and so will be the heavens, and men will be marshalled forth before Allah, the One, the Irresistible, and thou wilt see the sinners that day bound together in fetters. Their garments of liquid pitch and their faces covered with fire. That Allah may requite each soul according to its deserts, and verily Allah is swift in calling to account. Here is a message for mankind, that they may take warning therefrom, and let them know that he is no other than one Allah. Let men of understanding take heed.